If you're looking to build a homepage website for your business and want to know how ClickFunnels can help, then this video is for you. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an awesome homepage layout in just three minutes using my free homepage templates. Hey guys, my name is Mark and I'm the guy behind the Mental Marketer and the Facebook group Funnel Building 101. And today we'll be creating a homepage website for your own online business using ClickFunnels. Yes, that's right. Many people think that ClickFunnels is only used for building sales funnels, but I've been using it in my own business for close to two years now. So trust me when I say that there's nothing better out there. You can build your homepage quickly and easily without any coding skills at all. If you can click and drag and copy and paste, then you've got the skills to build. Now, make sure to watch all the way until the end for the chance to get 45 pre-designed pages to use for your homepage. With that being said, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe to continue receiving great reviews. Hey, welcome to this video today. Um, in this video, I'll be demoing the homepage funnel inside of the ClickFunnels editor. And a lot of people don't know that you can actually create uh, full web pages inside of the ClickFunnels editor. But uh, the ClickFunnels is a web page editor. So any website that you can build with other website builders, you can also build directly inside of ClickFunnels. Now um, for this demo, I'm going to be demoing uh, what's really called a hero page. Um, and it's a hero funnel. Um, and the hero funnel, this hero funnel has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you um, all of the pages and then we'll go inside this one page specifically um, to take a look at all the options and what we can do inside of the editor. So let's just go ahead and copy this address. And we'll open up an entirely new browser to take a look. Let's go here, paste it. Okay, now we've got our page open inside a, a separate browser and let's just take a look at the page here let's take a look over the page um, you can see the buttons here you you can customize this button to say whatever you'd like for it to say and link it wherever you like um, we've got a nice little uh, bar here with any featured in and credibility aspects that you have um, right here are uh, these are linking out to the other pages inside of your home page. If you had a podcast or maybe uh, YouTube channels, coaching, any products or services that you had, you can link out to them there. Even if you had other funnels, you can link them out. Um, here you can describe the services that you can link out to and also um, link out to them using these buttons right here. And this is another a description of the services that you're offering and you go down here's another description of events if you had events that you were offering and then also if you had other products and there's also space down here at the bottom for testimonials and a place to enter an email address to sign up for a newsletter and then we'll go back up to the top now let's go to the next page this takes us to the coaching page which is um, you can customize this page also with your coaching plan and any services that you offer this one has a little bit of a different design as you can see and this page here is page number two for your coaching services and those are videos that you can place on this page let's take a look at the next page products the product page looks pretty similar um, you just have your products here and then again you can customize the area below here to make it look exactly you can put product descriptions over here that link out to different 
items that you might be offering. Now let's take a look at the next page on the events page. The events page, you can actually uh, set up any live events that you might be conducting. And I might add that you can even set this page up as a calendar. So you can embed a calendar for someone to come to this page and schedule appointments with you. And we'll see there. Uh, you see these pages are looking similar because you want to keep some consistency across the the pages. Let's take a look at the podcast. Here is your page for your podcast. Or it could be a video studio. I want to show you here. Um, there is an option right here that we can actually embed an audio file. Let's play it. Yes, yes. You can you can link your most recent podcasts and videos on this page as well. All right. And we'll go to your contact us page. This is the page where you want to put your contact information and let them input their information to reach out to you. Okay, and let's go ahead and input our information. And we'll just do this here. And we'll put that email address there. We'll click to sign up. That takes us to a thank you page. And the thank you page says that you are added to my list. So those are the pages of the homepage website. Now let's go back to the editor. Now we're back to the editor and let's go inside this one particular page. Here we are inside the ClickFunnels editor. Now what I want to demo specifically is adding a video to an exit pop. An exit pop is, is the drop down that comes on the page before you leave the, the page um, just stopping you before you leave if you look up here at the top you'll see a tab that says pop up and you can edit the settings on that pop up right here by clicking this link that brings up the pop up and you'll see uh, when you're working inside of click funnels you want to think about three different items that you can add sections rows and then elements the sections are green in color the rows are blue in color and the elements are orange in color so when you hover over some items you'll see those colors show up now there aren't any sections in this uh, pop-up so you won't see the uh, the green color but you'll see the blue which means that's a row and inside of the rows you have these elements and the elements are here 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 and there so if we want to embed a video what we want to add is an element so we can click here where it says add new element we add a new element and it brings up these options now what elements can we add we can add text we can add media we can add forms uh, advanced forms countdown clocks content blocks with icons images navigations progress bars and we can add miscellaneous elements social shares privacy notices etc now we're adding a video so we're adding a media now I do want to note that you'll have different options based on what type of page that you select like um, sales pages you'll have options for order forms and credit card processing but this is not a sales page so we don't have those options but we want to add a video so we're going to click video then we see that our video element has populated right here on the page now um, 
what we can do I'm just I'm going to show you some other options that you can actually do um, on this video let's go ahead and add a text element underneath that video we will add a headline and we will add that headline and we will click it to say watch this video okay and I'm going to we're gonna go in here to this text and we're going to actually put a background color on that on the text so we'll put a background color around that and then what we also want to do is bring that margin upwards right underneath that video so we're going to do the top margin to zero and here's a little advanced trick I like to do let's go to the advanced and we're going to do an icon picker and let's just select an arrow we're going to point up to say watch this video now oh now okay now we've added that little element below the video now let's go ahead and add the the link so this video will play now what you'll need to do is you'll need to uh, hit the settings here and you will have to store your video on a platform the options for videos are a custom embed YouTube Vimeo Wistia easy video suite and HTML5 now you, we're going to use YouTube so you should have uploaded your video to a YouTube channel and I've got a video that I have uploaded and I'm ready to put this video inside so we'll go to YouTube and we want to grab this link right here that says the video link just copy that and we'll go back to the page we're going to paste that link right here into the YouTube URL now there are other options about auto place controls and brandings but we won't mess with that at this point so once you finish that you're going to hit the save button now uh, what we'll do for this pop-up is we're going to we're going to edit the settings on this pop-up so we can have it show on exit show when the user tries to exit that way we can actually get a look at the video to make sure it's working properly but that's it that's basically how you add a video to an exit pop it's simple it's not complicated it's pretty easy and let's go here and we can actually take a look to see what it looks like on mobile so this is what the pop-up will look like on mobile Okay. then let's go back to desktop let's close this out let's preview the page we can see that before I try to exit the pop-up comes down and we can hit this button to play the video if you're watching this that means you signed up for the awesome so it works now uh, let's close this out and let's go back inside of the editor so that is basically how you add a video to an opt-in well a an exit pop now you can actually add videos similar to that anywhere inside of the page and here are your your green area for the section you have your rows in blue uh, and then you have your elements in orange so if you wanted to add an element to the page right here you just click add new element and you can add the same elements from headlines paragraphs quotes images you can have the images pop up um, you can embed an audio you can have buttons there you can have forms and there are countless other things that you can add inside of the editor and if you want to 
move things around. I'll just give you an example to show you how easy it is to move this. Uh, this podcast, you just grab it, drag it over here, and there you have it. It's click and drag, click and drag. And do you want to grab that? Put it right over there. Uh, let's put the podcast below the icon. Just that simple. Uh, one thing I wanted to note here, this here, if you want to link this out, you can just press that. And here's where you can change out the, uh, the link for that text right there. And... Let's take a look at some of the buttons. If we want to edit this button, we just press the setting and we can hit set action. From here is where we can set the action for that button to submit the form, open the pop up. There's a Facebook opt in. We can go to next step and funnel. You can actually scroll up and down on the page or you can actually show or hide the, the, the action on this one here. Uh, we're going to link it to go to another website URL and this will be the page where your events are. So you have your link for that events page and you'll put that here. You can either open it in the same window or you can open it in a separate tab. You do that sometimes. And that is basically uh, the inside of the editor. Um, you can uh, get inside of the editor and just start to experiment with adding different items and moving them around and getting familiar with the editor. Now, there will be a link somewhere for you to sign up and get 10 free of these homepage website templates. And when you sign up for those 10 free templates, let me just show you what you'll receive. So you'll receive this PDF to download with the 10 homepage website templates. Uh, now these templates can be downloaded with one click into your ClickFunnels account. If you have a ClickFunnels account, um, it'll go directly into your account. You'll be able to start editing right away. If you don't have a ClickFunnels account, then you'll be prompted to start a 14 day free trial. And you'll see um, that this is one click download here. And there's also a video here that shows instructions on how to download these directly into your account. As you can see, these are 10 uniquely pre-designed homepage funnels that you can start to customize with your images, your logos, your words, your business until they are uniquely yours. So you can enter your email address uh, somewhere around this video to be taken to the page to sign up and get these 10 free homepage website templates to, to get your homepage up and running quickly and easily. Hope you've enjoyed this demo video. Thank you so much and have a great day.